Okay, so, uh, this book sucks. This is the official Evangelion light novel, and, um, it's horrible. It, it's really bad. So, I was supposed to make this video, like, two weeks ago. Uh, well, maybe three now, but I was supposed to make this video a while ago. And I thought I'd just read it real quick, knock it out, make a video, it'd be super easy. Um, but I just finished the book now. And it's not because it's particularly hard to read or anything. It's only 300 pages, the font is like 50, um, and I have a pretty big brain. My issue is that every page I turned made me want to die more and more. This book is really, really bad. So first off, it's written by Hitu Yamashita. So as far as I can tell, he's mainly just an illustrator. Uh, he made Jet Alone, the design for that, and he did some stuff for the old N64 video game. So he hasn't really done any writing. Um, this is actually his first book, and you know, doesn't bode well. So a lot of the earlier Ava license stuff uh, was not really as officially licensed as this is. Uh, you know, the, the visual novels, the dating games, the strip poker games, the pachinko machines, um, the other shitty mangas, all of that stuff it, it was different from this. Um, that was all back when Gainax still hold, held the rights to Ava, and back then Gainax was very different from what it was when Anna was still there. That was when all of the lead people left and Gainax was just kind of selling all the rights to their properties they could, making just garbage with it, and that's how you got a lot of shit like this. But this light novel is actually licensed by Kara, who, you know, actually holds the rights now, and Kara is Anno. This is Hideaki Anno, and this is officially licensed by him, and the concept is actually by Kara, too. So, this is very, very official. I think this is probably the most official um, side thing that we've ever gotten for Evangelion, okay? This is some, this is some tough shit. And I actually only really learned about it, um, probably pretty deep into it. Uh, I was playing the Evangelion mobile game for a while in AP World, and um, I don't know if any of you guys played it. It's really bad, but it had, um, it had like different, it had different mecha designs from like crossovers and other everything. And it kept adding new ones that I thought looked horrible. Um, stuff like this, I thought was like, okay, some guy who's working there just like whipped up some random thing to, to throw on. Um, cause that was in between, uh, 2.0 and like, 3.0 and 3.0 and 4.0. So that was like, between all the big breaks, there wasn't really anything coming out. So I was assuming like, okay, shit like this, that, that's gotta be just some dude, um, at the studios like whipping stuff up, right? But no, um, this was all from the anima, the light novel. So back then, once I learned that there was like, a light novel overseas, I was like, I was in the mood like, I have to read this thing, you know? So I was looking for fan translations, I was looking for like, fan petitions, I was, I was like, emailing people, I was trying to get an English translation of this book, because I really, really wanted to read it. So, it came out, I think, um, a year or two later, and I was super, super hyped for it, bought it day one, and got it home, read the first 30 pages, and I just stopped, and I, I never wanted to pick it up again. So I'm saying light novel a lot, and this is an Evangelion light novel, and what a light novel is, it's basically a Japanese novel, and it's like a novel, like, it is book, words, and shit, um, but it's a novel that is, like, around 200 to 300 pages long, uh, made for, like, teens, um, young adults, and then made so it can be you know, made to go on and on forever. That's why we're seeing, like, a lot of the anime of light novel adaptations that all suck. Uh, light novels generally really suck, because they're made to appeal to, like, very specific uh, subcultures of, like, otaku people, and they're made to be turned into anime. And um, they're usually very bad, very poorly written. And usually their main draw is just their illustrations on the cover. Some of them are good, most of them suck. And in this case, this sucks, but I was pretty worried when I heard, figured out it was a light novel because what that means is that what I read was the first book. So I didn't read, I, I didn't get a comprehensive story, I basically read like the first two episodes, three episodes of a show, you, you know what I mean? So this isn't really a review of everything, this is a review of how it's going to start, but I guarantee you it's not going to be good, <laughs> like going on, I'm, I'm not going to read the rest of it. Anyway, but that's enough destroying my retention time, um, let's talk about the book. So, the concept is actually pretty solid. Like I said, the concept is by Kara. So, I, I actually do expect that uh, the general ideas behind the story were written up and conceptualized by people who know what they're doing, and I, I like the idea. So, the, the concept is that it's about, I think, three or four years after the events of um, EOE, but um, instead of instrumentality happening and everything, Shinji actually saves the world, and everything goes back to normal. 
And um, so it's, it's, it's like, what if everything kept going? So kind of like Ava genocide, but bad. Um, and I think that's an interesting concept to tackle. So um, all the characters are like 17, 18 now, um, all the kids. And, uh, you know, the world has progressed in a lot of ways. Um, there, at the time the book starts, all the angels have been gone for years. There are a bunch of Avas up orbiting space that are all copies of Rey, which is stupid, but that's what's happening in the story. So there are four copies of Rey. They're all in space orbiting Earth, looking around for any angel attacks. And um, Nerve, at the time, is the world leader in uh, fighting angels and, and stuff like that, but there's the UN, there's still like the political stuff going on. And uh, randomly one of the, the uh, rays goes crazy and then uh, a uh, manufactured Ava comes back and then the story starts. And I think, I, again, I think the concept is, is solid, um, but the execution is god awful. And I'll read you, I'll read you a passage um, on, on page 30 to try to so you can understand why I stopped and how bad this really is. <clears throat> Toji gestured to indicate how the shape of the Ava's bodies had changed, but he fell into an awkward silence when he realized his motion mirrored how Asuka's and Ayanami's bodies had developed. Avas could alter their own physical configuration, though constructed out of inorganic matter, every now and then the giant's bodies behave as if they were living beings. And this goes on a little bit, but that's like a my most direct uh, passage that kind of explains it. And if you can't pick, if you don't, if you don't get what that means, um, that basically means that um, as uh, the most direct example in the book is Asuka. As Asuka grows up and gets older, her titties get bigger. And um, because she's synced with her Ava, that means that Ava too grows titties. And here's a picture of that. Now, I'm no prude, right? I like titties, I like ass, you know, who doesn't? Um, but, um, <laughs> so something about um, Ava, and this is Evangelion, okay? Evangelion having that, few red flags for me, okay? That should not be here. And um, that was the that was that was a, the great indicator of um, wow, the next three hundred pages are gonna suck and. Um, they really did. And another uh, initial indicator that this book would suck is the font in the presentation. So I'll have a shot back here showing you what I mean. But um, it, it's very, very large font in a very large book, and it's got graphics all over it and little pictures everywhere and stuff, and it reminds me of one of the fucking books you would get at like a scholastic book fair. I, I feel like an idiot reading the book. Not, not only from the contents, but from just looking at the fucking pages. I don't want anybody else to look at this, you know what I mean? And um, the, the, another thing is that the book has a lot of illustrations. Um, the main illustrator is is pretty good. Uh, I mean, the the concept designs, besides you know the later ones, are, are pretty solid. But really, only the initial illustrations are that good. Um, the first few on the first few pages are actually very impressive. They look awesome. They do a pretty good job of establishing the world. Um, but later on, there are more illustrations just randomly put throughout the book in places that don't seem necessary, and they're borderline unlegible. I mean. What the fuck is that supposed to be? I mean, I read the book and I have no idea what that is. And they're lazy, too. Um, the black-on-black -black inking obviously makes them look a lot worse than they probably are in the initial sketches. But, I mean, here, there's obviously just a cloud PNG, and there's an earth PNG, and they're just like a shitty line drawing. I mean, it's not very good. And even the ones that are full drawings look like you're... <laughs> That looks horrible. Like I, I don't want to. I don't want to be mean to the guy, but I, come on, right? But what's so bad about the actual book, right? I mean, we're not just making fun of this guy's art, right? Let, let's talk about the book. Well, first off, um, it's written very poorly. Um, I I can't really describe it. Um, and I don't want to sound like an asshole, but um, it it honestly feels like it's written by somebody who doesn't really read anything. And I don't really read anything, but it's just like. The way people talk, the way things are described, it's just so simple. And some of this might be because of the localization, sure. Um, I mean, I, I think probably the spelling errors and gram uh, grammatical errors are, are probably because of the localization. I'll, I'll blame it on them. But um, a lot of the, the, the base level stuff I, I think is probably just as bad in Japanese. 
it's written poorly, and when you have a poorly written book on a poorly written story with poorly written characters, it's pretty hard to get through. On top of that, each part of the book is basically a little bit of dialogue, huge fight scene, little bit of dialogue. Whatever, okay. Obviously, the direction people are going with Ava is a stupid action series. So, I, I won't complain about that, I mean I will, but that's not my main issue. My main issue is that, first off, action does not translate that well onto written word. Straight up. I mean, in, in novels and stuff, there's a reason why they're not just big fight scenes, because it, that shit just doesn't translate. And, uh, and that's one thing. But they're not just fight scenes, they're Evangelion fight scenes. So try to imagine if somebody took all the biggest fight scenes from Ava like 2.0 and wrote them down and you read them. That wouldn't really translate too well, would it? And it's even worse than that, because again, this guy's a character designer. And not just any character designer, but his designs are very, very complicated. So he's writing these super complex fight scenes with mechas and shit, and he's describing them with characters that he has very, very detailed drawings for that we haven't seen. So you really, it, it's really hard to understand what's going on most of the time, and that's like what the entire book is. It's all fight scenes, and it's all written like garbage. So, you know. But to be fair, no matter how good the writing was, or how good the writer was, um, this never would have been very good. Because this is not a book or a series that was made to sell you on the story, it was made to sell you on the designs. Pure otaku level shit, okay? That's where we are right now. Pretty ironic considering the series is from, but that's where we are right now. Um, and another part of the reason I don't think it could have ever been good is because I don't think this was ever supposed to be a novel. I think this was supposed to be a manga. I mean, from the illustrations, from the action, from everything else, I think it's pretty clear that this was not ever supposed to be written. And, um, it even makes even more sense when you, when you consider, why would Kara give this story to an illustrator? They would give it to an illustrator to fucking illustrate a manga, not to write a book. This guy's never written anything else, okay? He's only written this. I think that this was supposed to be a manga, and he had a storyboard all written out for it, and then he started working on it, and either um, Kara didn't want to pay, all the money for it, or he got tired of it, or something happened, where he was just like, you know what, I have all these storyboards, I'll just write it, and Kara was like, okay, and that's why we have this. But I would not be surprised if this goes the route of a lot of other light novels and gets adapted into an anime. Um, I, I don't think it'll happen. I mean, Kara's doing a lot of other stuff, I mean, they're too busy with the live-action Ano shit, but they've got to be working on something else on the side here, and... Car has been talking about funding other projects, and like I said in my predictions video, Anno has been talking about wanting to expand Ava into a Gundam-like series, and a new anime is the first way to go. So, if they wanted to, I could see this being a very, very obvious choice for a first thing to make. And if you have it as an anime, that means you have more exposure to the mecha designs, which means you have more sales. So, I don't know. Let's wait a couple years and see what happens. This was a mess, <laughs> um, but so was the book, so I, th I, I thought it was fitting. Anyway, if you think I'm wrong, you can go ahead and check it out. I dare you to. Um, it's very bad. But, um, I mean, it's, yeah, there are, I think, six English ones, five or six English uh, novels out right now of it, so it's obviously doing well enough to get at least semi-fully translated, but um, I don't think it's worth reading any of the ones past the first, because, I mean, if, if you think it gets better, if you have any doubts, um, then I will say this is from the anima later on, so, you know, take that as you may. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know what my next video is going to be, but my viewer retention rate is, I think, probably the worst on YouTube, so nobody's watching this, but uh, thank you if you're here, and... Um, yeah, see you next week. Actually, for real this time.